Hey guys, we're going to be going back to the Gilgamesh Chronicle battle for that Galoof clear that I promised you. Um, so Gilgamesh, we're going to do all missions again. And I will show you the gear at the end of the video. I won't forget this time. I did forget during the Ferris video. But I'm going to show you the Ferris' gear as well because I forgot to during that video. But anyway, this is the clear if you don't have Ferris. But you do have a Galoof with some relatively decent gear to make him um, do this clear for you. So Warrior of Dawn Galoof is going to shift to the shift form, which is his DPS form. And we're gonna use Blessed Earth Crystal. That is a um, modifier boost for his LB. Gilgamesh is going to break, imperil, and then uh, LB fill. Uh, Bart is gonna start in the base form, shift on turn one, and do the shifted LB. Uh, Gilgamesh will do this. And then Baby Galoof is going to entrust over to Bart. Um, that's the three-star Galoof. He's just here as an entruster. We're currently provoking with Bart. All right. So, um, yep, the boss does his thing. There we go. Not a problem. All right. So now Bart is going to, before we attack, we're going to Raging Winds, uh, Blessed Wind Crystal, and Courage to Face Adversity. That's going to amplify the party. Now we're going to use the shifted LB of Galoof, and Gilgamesh is going to triple Absolute Mirror of Equity to chain with him. Now keep in mind, the shifted LB of Galoof is a dumpster fire, just like the rest of this banner from JP. Global didn't fix it. It's Absolute Mirror of Equity, but it's an offset frame, meaning he's got to go like a moment before your support chainer. So we're going to go ahead and send Galoof just a moment before Gilgamesh. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you go to the training dummy and practice it, You'll, um, you'll get the hang of it. And now we're going to use Baby Galoof to entrust over to Big Boy Galoof and get his LB back. So here's the threshold. So here's the chain, 47-point chain. You've got to keep in mind, if you don't have a 47-point chain, that means you missed one of the hits, probably the last hit of Galoof's LB, and that's like a really big problem. So you need to um, really make sure that uh, you properly cap Galoof's LB. Again, his frames are just the worst because it's not a proper absolute mirror of equity. It's an offset delay, meaning you've got to start him a moment before your real chainer. And for whatever reason, they just didn't fix that. But they didn't. So anyway, uh, here's the jump. Uh, the jump on Bart, it, he's wearing some auto buffing gear. Overall, the jump is not super painful. Um, so now again, we're going to do LB, we're going to do uh, Gilgamesh, we're going to uh, this. Uh, we're just going to guard Baby Galoof because the fight's basically over here. And we'll go ahead and support chain Bart. Now we're going to go ahead and, because this is a little bit easier when you've got a free chainer, um, we're going to send our two normal Absolute Mirror of Equity chainers a, sp um, a spec after Galoof. That way we always properly cap Galoof's last hit. So we're going to go ahead and send Galoof and then send the other chainers. That way it, um, oh, we kind of messed it up, but yeah, the last hit was properly capped. Yeah, Galoof's LB is just the absolute, absolute worst. I hate it. They didn't fix it. It is super pain in the ass to chain, which is a big reason why you're probably never going to use Galoof again after this Chronicle battle. But with some practice on the training dummy, it does work. And he can, as you see, carry this fight all by himself. It does require some decent gear, though. Um, I'm going to show you the gear of this team, and I'm going to show you Ferris's gear from the previous video because I totally forgot. Um, okay, so the gear for this team is, once we finish getting back to the home screen. All right. So, um, Baby Galoof is just using some LB and trusting. So, LB fill gear. Um, I did give him Earthbreaker. Uh, he was going to be a breaker in case the fight went longer. But um, we didn't need to, so whatever, uh, whatever. That's not even important. So ignore that. Just LB fill per turn, and he entrusted on turns like two, three. I don't know. He's an entruster. You could also use the uh, the four star Bart's, the old original Bart's, the four star one. Um, works totally fine as well. Uh, Warrior Light Bart's in the base form is using some auto buff gear. Uh, we didn't use Thousand Needles. Ignore that. Shift form is passive provoke and evasion. I don't think evasion even matters that much because the boss does very low damage overall. Um, but anyway, here is Bart's build. So he just does uh, LB and amplify. So there's him. Uh, Gilgamesh base form didn't use it. Shift form is um, just using a little bit of... Apparently I started gearing him and kind of forgot to gear him all the way. Uh, what? Okay, 
Well, he was halfway geared. I apparently got distracted at some point and stopped midway through. What? I don't, whoops. Whatever. Uh, Gloof, Warrior Gloof in the base form, just auto bravery. Shift form, no, he carried the fight. He was geared properly. Um, he is technically a dual wield unit, but of course, like every other dual wield unit, double hand is always better. He has the six times chain cap naturally, no matter what. Even while double handing, he has the six times chain cap, so you don't need to gear him for chain cap. Just gear him for double hand and human killer. So, Igon's arm. Um, some double hand gear. And again, this is pretty decent gear. He is a little hard to gear. You always need to make sure to wear his STMR, even though it does nothing for damage, because his um, his special passive gives him 1,000 flat attack power while wearing his TMR or STMR. And his TMR is a one-handed sword that we don't want to use. So you got to wear his STMR. Um, double hand gear and then, you know, an LB damage card. So his gear is definitely good. This is not like a budget gloof, but um, there you go. 275 LB and 300 Human Killer. And keep in mind, if you are a little bit short on damage, uh, make sure you're proper capping that chain at 47 hits. Or um, we actually broke the chain on the second clear, on the second the second burst, but um, it was still okay. But yeah, practice on the training dummy. Galoof's uh, shifted LB. It is Absolute Mirror of Equity. It does chain with an Absolute Mirror of Equity user, but you got to send Galoof earlier. And it's, it still takes some practice. And as far as Ferris and the, I'm on game. Ferris in the previous video, um, the previous video, just you know for reference, uh, the Galoof in that video was just passive provoke evasion. Uh, Bars and Gilgamesh in the previous video were like using a wind weapon and really nothing else. Ferris, the only one that really had gear. Um, and this this was how Ferris was geared in the previous video. Uh, a few people have already said their Ferrises are doing less damage. But um, this is how the previous Ferris was geared. Is you know this is not a budget run. This is uh, decent gear. So 280, 250, 275, EX2, um, Ferris. There you go. Okay. So anyway, there was two runs. Um, if you don't have the gear to pull this off, you might want to try just doing the missions in different runs, like doing a five-man team on one clear, and then going for the four-man team with a slow clear. You know later. Anyway, there's the two clears on Gilgamesh. See you next time.